Okay, Liberty Lovers, I we decided to go ahead and do one of our quarantine treats. And this is also all brought to you by the dollar store. It's one can of apple pie filling, which is a dollar. And one can of pie crust, which is a dollar. It says to go for about nine minutes. We're going to go ahead and put some vanilla wafers that we also got there. Uh, it won't be a lot. We'll just cover the top. So it says about nine minutes. We're going to go about five minutes and then do four minutes with the vanilla wafers. We don't want to burn them or anything like this. But uh, it, I also am going to have a link in the description box. So uh, it's uh, Fox News Phoenix 10. They've been doing quarantine. Uh, also, we have... Dun, 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 oh, uh, Cool Whip. But Oh, yeah, there it is. Cool Whip we got from the dollar... So, obviously, we didn't need to do a quarantine meal. We have other things to do, like a regular meal. But uh, those are some eggs from the kitchen. Um, we have uh, food to do, like regular meals. But we wanted to go ahead and uh, try a quarantine meal. That's when our stash, our regular food gets low. Um, but So, we're going to put this in the oven right now. And um, I'm going to have a link to it's for coronavirus now.com and it's fox phoenix 10 um that's they show all the press conferences all day on youtube and uh in the meantime um i actually needed to put the corn uh i tried crushing the corn today uh with a meat grinder i got a big gumbo pot and uh i cut a bucket a hole in this bucket for the meat grinder to go on the back fell off like the back nut that keeps it uh the the grinder part, you know, that you crank uh, going. So I went ahead and ordered one off Amazon for 20 bucks, $22. And it should be here the day after my birthday or two days after my birth birthday, March uh, 30th, I think. So um, birthday's the 28th. So yeah, two days. But um, in the meantime, I was listening to Fox uh, Phoenix 10, uh, Fox News 10 Phoenix or... I forget exactly how it is, but I'll have the link in the description box. It's coronavirusnow.com. You can watch the live stream there. They just did a little uh, questionnaire with a doctor, and I just wanted to give a little update. Uh, like I said, this is my first day one official. It should have started yesterday on March 23rd. Today is March 24th, but as of right now, the Japanese cruise ship has been back at port for 17 days. And the virus is still alive on surfaces. So we know for sure this virus is staying alive so far for 17 days on surfaces. Uh, that's dollar bills, that's gas pumps, all that. Have hand sanitizer or soap. You know, keep a little jug of water, get, I don't know, disposable gloves. You know, uh, it's just because there's so many different things going on with this situation and like several different viruses because the vortex gene was found by Dr. Francis Boyle. You know, this is just a Franken virus. So please take all precautions. But here are some uh, facts that uh, they were just playing on, on uh, Fox Phoenix 10 now. Uh, it's coronavirusnow.com. But uh, 17 days on the cruise ship, still alive. Uh... And 20% of the cruise ship was actually infected with the virus but had no signs at all and didn't know and they were spreading it. Uh, just practice social distancing, obviously washing the hands. Uh, soap actually breaks down the outer layer of this virus, the outer shell, and it cannot live. So washing hands, you want to try with antibacterial soap, but say you can't come across like dial bar soap, antibacterial soap, things like this. Uh, regular soap will at least break the virus shell down and it cannot live. So, um, you know, maybe uh, have a pair of shoes outside that when you go to stores that you want to wear and then have house slippers so you could transition into your house slippers for inside or your socks. But try to keep your shoes outside in case you do get on, uh, you walk on, say, people sneezing or coughing and that's on the ground. Um, you know, uh, a bandana is good for your face because it's going to help you uh, prevent from actually touching your face. You want to not allow this virus to get into your nose or around your eyes. So uh, a mask is preferred for breathing wise. But if you can't come across a mask, cover your face with a bandana. Maybe keep it real thick at the top with a triangle 
We had a couple layers folded over right at the nose area. And, uh, you know, the least amount of particles getting into your nose, the better off you are. Uh, it says uh, you want to have your windows down if you're traveling with guests in your vehicle, just in case someone's sick. It has been proven that it takes 24 to 28 days to sometimes even start showing symptoms the whole time you're spreading the virus. So you want to make sure you're riding with your windows down. This is all from a doctor on Phoenix 10 5, Fox Phoenix 10 or coronanow.com, coronavirusnow.com. Jiminy Crickets. I'm break. I'm doing horrible. Uh, we got 5,489 cases, 783 deaths, um, and I believe that's worldwide. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's worldwide. Uh, if that's correct numbers, there was a second scientist killed in China after uh, screenshotting some other numbers, and those numbers were about honestly 10, 15 times bigger than what they were being reported so uh there's a lot of trickery going on and uh anyways uh <clears throat> india has been under a complete lockdown as soon as they hit 200 uh on the commutal spread they went ahead and shut down india for 21 days i want to say so um they do not have you know a constitution which america does and we need to not really uh, just give up our rights. Uh, we gave up a lot of rights after uh, September of 2001, and we need to really walk that tight line. Uh, we don't want to give up rights. Uh, you know, we just, we were very fortunate to be where we are born, and we've had uh, many a patriots bled, uh, shed their blood and water that liberty tree for us to have the freedoms and liberties that we have right now. And so we owe them a due diligence to stand that line and not allow our freedoms or our liberties to be um, trespassed. You know, really patriots. It's time to be attentive and it's time to make sure that we do not lose any of our constitutional rights, any rights, any rights given to us, you know, endowed by our creator, by God. So uh, they're saying they're trying to sell the lockdown as it's being more def uh on the defensive side and it's for our good but uh i am having mixed emotions personally about this uh it's really it's really uh it's a really hard topic for me i don't want to end up losing any of our rights uh you know we don't want this to last, last too long at the same time you know we have the liberty if we want to go out and if we want to put ourselves in jeopardy we should you know that's our that's our right given to us by our creator we are free people so remember that even if say you're an atheist or something you need to always stand on the on the side of the christian of god because as soon as they take that away as soon as you go around you know uh, uh hassling you know god's not really this type of you're actually saying our rights are given to us by government and we have the chance for them to take it away so even if in your heart of hearts you're an atheist you need to stand and fight for christian rights just in, for the simple fact that you can have your right to protect yourself you have the right to do whatever as long as it's in legal means and so um you know, the Second Amendment, First Amendment, we got the right to say what we want, when we want to say it, and we got the right to protect yourself by any means necessary, including it using an inanimate object as uh, certain calibers that go bang. So, um, anyways, this is day day one, uh, technically day two for Louisiana. We are on a shutdown till April 2nd. I just wanted to uh, show that, uh, you know, for the future generations of my bloodline that... Uh, Things are awesome. Uh, we kick ass, and uh, we made a great meal. Everyone loved it. Um, it was chicken Alfredo with it with canned chicken and Alfredo sauce and noodles, and uh, we had a side of corn and a apple pie with Cool Whip. You know, it was everything from the Dollar Tree. It was about a ten uh, less than ten dollar meal. We have leftovers for lunch tomorrow, and it fed a house of six. So. Uh, pretty awesome uh, we got plenty of the gardens doing good spirits are high uh, just take extra precaution you know 
whatever it may be uh, that you feel is necessary, you do that. Don't worry about what someone looks at you, points, you know, thinks you're overreacting, anything like this. This is a Franken virus. It's been proven to uh, be genetically modified or a bio, uh, you know, weapon. So uh, it, it's uh, it's definitely nothing I have ever experienced in my life. And uh, I've, I've talked to people that are 60, 70 years old, and this is nothing they experienced. So we're all facing something new. Just keep your head on a swivel. Never stop getting the information about this thing. It's constantly changing. Uh, you know, like today, 17 days, and this virus is still alive. There's, they're having an outbreak in Jamaica. Jamaica's hot as hell right now. They were saying when it started getting warmer temperatures, this thing will die. This is not, not the normal thing. So we're taking all precautions necessary. We have hand sanitizer on, on us at all times. We have, uh, you know, uh, antibacterial soap at every sink. And uh, we have face mask, everything, gloves. So I uh, hope y'all are taking the same actions. We know that uh, it takes 24 to 28 days to start, sh start showing symptoms. And uh, we're contagious the entire time. So uh, day one, officially, uh, but technically day two of the quarantine and it is uh march 24th on a wednesday tuesday evening a tuesday evening so uh god bless everybody and stay safe you know now's the time to reconnect with family now's the time to you know turn off the tv and do some research uh you know they found sodom and gomorrah they found the uh, armor of david and goliath they got uh check out the city the naomi city and uh, mount sinai um uh, you know, we're, there's a lot of cool things out there that can prove what they are constantly trying to disprove to us. So, reconnect and, uh, you know, enjoy life. Love it. You know, don't be afraid. Just prepare. You know, maybe get a little garden on the spare time. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, check back tomorrow. I'm going to do these little updates. You know, I started YouTube. So uh, my boys want to stream their video games, got them everything, found out the computer we have wasn't good enough. So, uh, you know, I decided to go ahead and start YouTube and just kind of learn the ropes, get to know what to expect. And uh, they'll, be, they'll be streaming soon. Their channel's Motley Ambition. But uh, the main reason is so my future generations can kind of get to know who I am and see what life was like whenever they check this out. So uh, it's a little time capsule. But... Thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're doing so the future can read what you've been up to. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.